I think no. I, I think he was possibly ruled out uh, for, for tomorrow's game, uh, but I don't think there's been any um, ruling on. I know that there's no timetable uh, set for his return, and, and, and if he would, he will be able to return. That was head basketball coach Johnny Jones Monday declaring that senior guard Keith Hornsby's hernia injury he re-aggravated against Tennessee could have potentially been a season-ending injury, which could put an end to his collegiate career. As of this morning, Hornsby took to Facebook to address the situation saying, quote, I don't feel the need to give out any close details of my injury, but it's very unpredictable right now. It'll be a week, the week-to-week thing for me, it'll have to go on how I feel. I'll be getting great treatment and we'll just have to see what happens. Meanwhile, I'll do whatever I can do to help the squad. The Tigers started off the year without him, and after he had a preseason surgery to fix his hernia, the team went 4-3 and three without him in the lineup. Upon his return, he became the Tigers' best three-point shooter, averaging 41.5% from beyond the arc, averaging 13.1 points in the 20 games he had played. As games became more important down the stretch, Hornsby averaged 18 points and made 14 of 31 shots from deep in the four games prior to his injury against Tennessee. Now, as for last night's loss against Arkansas, the Tigers would miss Hornsby scoring after being blown out by 20 on the road to an Arkansas team that came into the game with an overall losing record and a 6-8 and eight record in the SEC. As for Hornsby's replacement in last night's game, Jalen Patterson, he scored 6 points on 2 of 10 shooting in 37 minutes. The Tigers bench also went scoreless, and the four players that saw the floor accounted for four rebounds in 26 minutes, three of which came from Darcy Malone. Now, what does that loss mean to the Tigers' tournament chances? Well, it might take a slight miracle over the next couple weeks for them to get in. The Tigers do still technically have a shout at it if they win out, which includes a road game against the 16th-ranked Kentucky Wildcats, who the Tigers beat earlier at home this year, which even then it might not be enough. They also have a surefire option of winning the SEC tournament, but at the rate the LSU is playing, things don't look too promising. Although sad news for Tigers fans, I'm sure the planning committee for the National Invitational Tournament are excited about the idea of having the number one overall pick in the draft, Ben Simmons, playing in their tournament, and I can't blame them. I would be happy too. Anyway, coming up after the break, Taylor and Brian show how Odell Beckham is spending his time so far this offseason. You won't want to miss it, so come on back. 